take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing most clearly. Then allow your attention to settle there. As you're settled there, try not to put too much pressure on that spot. At the same time, don't put so little pressure that you float away. It's a matter of, tri matter of trial and error to figure out exactly how much pressure you put on these things. This is one of the reasons why John Lee has you work with the breath energy, because it's so easy to focus in, focus in, and then you start restricting the blood in that part of the body, and that sends ripples of bad energy in different directions, which is what you don't want. You want to be able to stay with something at the same time, not squeezing it too much. And then learn how to spread that sense of well-being that you got there around. This allows your, your focus to be one-pointed and yet broad. There's one point where you're paying most attention, but you have to be aware of the whole body. You're doing this because the mind needs a good foundation to stay, something that it can stay with as it goes through the day. Otherwise, meditation just becomes something you do in off hours. It's a little resting spot for the mind. Then you get back to your ordinary activities. What we're trying to do here is give you some new skills in how you relate to the breath, relate to the body at the same time you're dealing with the world. Because this puts you in a position of strength if you can do this well. And when you're in a position of strength, it's a lot easier to withstand impulses to say or do or think unskillful things. It makes it easier to withstand the influences of the world outside. Because so much of our culture is involved in unskillful things. Or as John Mine used to say, the cultures of the world are all cultures of defilement. They're based on greed, aversion, and delusion, and dressing them up a little bit so that we can make them palatable. But still, that's how most of the cultures are, are designed and what they foster. What we're trying to foster here is an internal culture. We're in line with the noble ones. We're trying to train the mind so that it's pleased to be doing skillful things and it's pleased to be abandoning unskillful ones, regardless of what the outside influences are. So make this your foundation right here. Learn how to get the mind in a position where it can be with the body. The body's going to be functioning well. The mind's going to be functioning well. And they're both together. And when they're both together, they give each other strength, if you do it in the right way. So try to get a sense of just right in your focus. And then try to maintain that sense of just right as you go through the day. And that'll give you your measuring stick. Because if things inside aren't just right, how do you know if things outside are just right or not? You got something just right here, okay, then everything else falls into line. 